This is 7 News at 5.30. Good evening, everyone. We begin with some troubling messages that surfaced at a South Florida school. A student now getting a lesson in the law. Jessica Holly is live in Pembroke Pines with this arrest. Jessica. Police say the student arrested was not a student here and the threats were made while he was out of state. But when he got back, he would end up in cuffs and police say he told them that his cat, his cranky cat made the threats and that it was all a joke. But police didn't think it was funny. He said that somebody told him that he was having trouble sleeping and he was going to shoot up Flanagan. A threat against Flanagan High School in the form of a screenshot of a text message leading to the arrest of a 16 year old boy. Pembroke Pines police announcing the arrest after what happened last week. Like all I know is that it was a threat that was made and everybody got it really quickly because everybody was sending it and it got reported very quickly. I was like, maybe it's a joke, but I don't want to risk it because, you know, these days anything could happen. I didn't go to school that day. I was that scared. The threat stated that, quote, Flanagan's going to get shoot up maybe tomorrow, Friday. Many choosing to keep their kids home that day. I don't think that they mean to actually come over here and shoot anybody. But you never know. It was very scary because it was like, OK, what is next? My daughter was terrified. She didn't want to go to school. According to police, the threat also included a photoshopped picture of a cat with a gun. Police say the teen who was arrested, a former Flanagan student, told them it was all a joke. But police aren't laughing. He's been charged with written threats to conduct a mass shooting, which is a felony. It's very scary. It should ne it's never a joke. It upsets the kids. It upsets the school. It disrupts everybody. And I think they need to be a little harsher on these kids. Police have not released the name of the teenager who was arrested, but some parents believe they should. We're live in Pembroke Pines. Jessica Holly, 7 News.